Um, uh, th thank you. America's in real peril now. This threat to default on our debt is real. That's never been the case. We came close in 2011. There's been some grandstanding on both sides about the debt ceiling in the past, but the president and the majority party always accepted the responsibility to guarantee that we paid our debts in full and on time. And the reason for that is the consequences of default are catastrophic. Bernie, you've outlined what they are. And ironically, the advoc advocates of default claim what they're doing is trying to bring down our debt, and Moody's estimates that a default would increase our debt by as much as $850 billion. So the tactic they've chosen will aggravate the problem they claim to be concerned about. The reason I'm so concerned is that this proposal that did not go through a single committee, had no regular order consideration, does such radical transformation to the budget that uh, we have, the folks over there are serious. And Speaker McCarthy had to make one concession after another 15 times in order to get elected. And we've seen everyone reading the tea leaves. Are things looking good or are they looking bad? We don't know. Here's what we do know. Once pen hits paper and there's something real that folks are gonna react to, the Freedom Caucus folks will be livid and explode. And my view, Speaker McCarthy has limited capacity to really negotiate. He's handcuffed and in leg irons from that 15 votes that it took to get him elected. And if he is able to negotiate something, once he tries to present it, there'll be uproar. So this question that's gonna come down to may be the president having to make a second choice decision. His preference is what we, what we should do is what we've always done, raise the debt ceiling. But what it will then come down to is using the authority of the 14th Amendment, which says something, by the way, that all of us know doesn't need to be in law to be real, and that is the validity of the public debt of the United States authorized by law shall not be questioned. The entire GOP is repudiating that language in the 14th Amendment. And by the way, the choice that the president has to make is whether if it comes to it, he invokes the 14th Amendment or allows Republicans in effect to repudiate existing law. The appropriations that they want to unravel have all been passed by previous Congresses. It's the law. So we all support the President's ability if he decides it comes to that to invoke the 14th Amendment to save this country from economic ruin. Thank you.